Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. For everyone that's new, my name is Lingo. Um, welcome to my channel. Thank you for checking me out. And for everyone that's coming back, that is back from last time, thank you for coming back and returning. I did a old school, like, classic holiday look today. This was very inspired by, um, you guys saw, like, a Jackie Ina. I saw like the title of the video and it was like a look she did from 2009 and I was like oh my god how cool would it be to do like looks that I used to do or looks that were inspiring when I first got into makeup which was I think around that time I think I was in like it was end of middle school no 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 it was definitely high school like, 8th grade into high school, you know? Every holiday season, I just remember always seeing everyone doing a red lip and a gold eye. So I thought I should recreate that. And the holiday season is here. Um, so I was like, why not? So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let's get into it. Okay. That's it. We're ready. Ready, set, action. This is really, like, how my makeup really was when we started. And... It's just crazy because I remember when I first started doing makeup, I was just like, I can't wait to wear red lipstick. I was also so excited about gold eyeshadow. Like, that was my first major look. And I remember I bought my first palette was an e.l.f. palette. And it was this huge, I bought it during the holidays, I remember. I forgot how many freaking colors was in it it was like a hundred colors or something and I literally only used probably like <laughs> five or six of those colors like I don't know what I was thinking but I didn't use as many colors as that were in there I just remember like I had oh frick my nose I just got my nose pierced before I forget to tell you guys, I just got my nose pierced in October and I've been meaning to do it for so long and I just never did it. And the reason why I did it was because my sister wanted to do it really bad and my stepmom was like, okay, well, if your sister does it with you, like, you can do it. So I was like, you know what, I've been wanting this forever, like, why not? And then she couldn't find her ID, so I had to do it by myself. Oh, it's kind of light. So yeah, um, I got my nose pierced two months ago. I'm waiting for the three month mark because I just want to change out my nose ring so bad. Um, the guy was like, you have to wait three months, which, which was fine, but... I was like, which jewelry do you recommend? And he was like, oh, you could pick whatever one. They had like three options. They had the flat stud. They had the like little diamond looking one. And then they had this gold one. So I was like, I'm definitely doing gold jewelry. Tell me why this thing snagged on my shirt like the third day. And I literally had a heart attack. I was like, I can't live my life like this, you know? So I called them and they were like, yeah, you gotta wait. So I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna have to survive through this. And I've been surviving, but it's it hasn't been easy. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's been pretty stressful. Like after that, I think I snagged my nose ring like another three, four times. And I was like, I guess I don't have a choice here. But I'm glad I pierced my nose. It's something I've been wanting to do and I was like, F it, I'm going to do it. I've been in a space where I'm working on like self-commitment. And this was a moment where I had to really challenge myself and be like, are you really going to commit? And I committed. That's like a big deal for me, <laughs> which is really bad. Like I should be good at that already, but here we are, you know? But I'm working on it. And I think this was a great first step. Oh, I also got a new brow pencil. So excited. I was using what's it called? Soft soft brown or like something blonde. 
I don't know. I think it was soft brown. But I was using that by Maybelline for so long. I was like, I can't use any other pencil. And it was in the micro one. So very similar to this one. And I don't know. I feel like from the first time I used it compared to like now. And I think I started using it like three years, two years. Three years is a long time. Two years ago. I don't know. I just feel like there was less pencil in the pencil. Like less product. And pencil. It would just break so easily. I don't know. It was just really annoying. Dang, I'm struggling with brows, y'all. I think it's because I can't see him. Let's get closer. Or maybe it's the pencil. Maybe I don't love it. Dang. Now I'm confused. Let me grab another one. It's out, guys. It's almost out. Whatever, we're gonna make it work. Oh, I think it was the pencil. I don't think I like the color. I like guys. I think it was too light, but it had the right undertone. I just feel like I learned that I need a cooler brown pencil. You know? Dang. This is working way better. This pencil is actually really good too. This is the Cover Girl. And soft brown. I'm telling you, soft brown is my shade. So I guess I need a color, a shade darker than taupe from NYX, and then I'll be happy. But yeah, so what are we talking about? I pierced my nose. I'm 24 and I just pierced my nose. Mind you, all my friends are getting the nose pierced at like, in like high school. Oh wait, first before I do this. Let me conceal my brows. All my friends were like concealing their brows in like high I mean, <laughs> piercing their noses in high school or like early college and I was just so chicken I'm still a chicken but I'm like less chicken now really light really really light but it's okay because for the browns but yeah I was so chicken I was so scared and I was like I don't ask me to be adventurous at all like I'm chicken now but not as chicken as I used to be it was really bad. Like I had no adventure spirit in me at all. Like I was just the type to always be like, oh my God, what if this happens? Or like, I just want to be in my comfort zone. Like I don't want to be challenged. I think the first time I moved out of that like phase and out of that fear was, um, <laughs> so I went to Mexico for my spring break with uh, some of my girls from college and <laughs> one of my friends is really like out of all of us the most adventurous one she was like let's go on this adventure that it was like this adventure package that came with our hotel and I was like hell no hell no like never like I'm not the one I looked at the package it's like snorkeling and well the dolphin watching, I love dolphins, so I was actually excited for that. But the snorkeling and, like, what else was on there? Snorkeling and paddleboat? Paddle? I think it was a paddleboat. But you know how it's, like, one, maybe two people? I was like, no, I'm not doing this. So she was like, no, just do it. Like, it's going to be fun. You're going to regret it. And I was like, why would I regret it? Like, there's nothing to regret about being safe. It's like, I'd rather be safe. So, long story short, I did it. <laughs> and it was actually so much fun. Well, no, let me not lie. First off, the one thing that, like, once I got on there that convinced me was that it was open bar and the dolphins. Th that was the main, those are the two things that got me. I'm not gonna lie to you, that was it. Other than that, I was not about to be about it. The drinks were cool, but like, I was so terrified. They didn't explain what kind of snorkeling it was. And then they also like, didn't really explain what the process for paddle boating is. And homegirl that wanted to do this adventure, she looked like she was having the time of her life when it was time to snorkel, right? 
I think the snorkeling was the first thing we did. Also, I didn't know this was a deep sea snorkeling situation. I thought it was like we go to a private beach, dip our heads in some water, and that's it. Tell me why this was a actual like jump into the water, come up to the water, swim, and follow the pack. I was like, no, I, I'm going to die. I literally thought, literally thought that was the last day of my life. Funniest thing was one of my other friends, she was just equally as scared, just terrified. And I'm the type of person, I like to build people up. I am going to be supportive, help you, whatever, right? But I was so scared. I was like, I cannot. And she was also scared. So I was trying to be there for her. And I was just too scared. I was like, I can't be brave and bold right now. This is just too hard. Like, I was trying to be comforting, but I was like, I need comfort myself. Mind you, our friend that was like, that got us into this mess, she is gone with the rest of the, like, group that is snorkeling. Like, the rest of the boat, people on the boat. She's gone. She's far away. And I'm like, this is a team effort. You're all the way over there. So... Me and my friend that are both terrified, we're like, you know what? We're going to have each other's backs. We're not going to leave each other. We're going to, like, stick through it. Immediately, we jump into the water. We're screaming, crying. I had never experienced so many emotions at once. As we're screaming and freaking out, we realize we're, like, way behind. We're, like, at the end of the group. Like, we're behind. We're, like, the last two people struggling mind you there are kids in this group there are like grandmas and grandpas in this group who are having the time of their life in the freaking ocean also i forgot to say they made us wear like scuba diving clothes which and flippers that was that made it even more terrifying i was like why do i need all this gear if this is supposed to be safe and like right here and not hard man i was actually terrified so we were like you know what we're going to survive. We're not going to die. But the whole time, I was like, my mom would be so pissed if she saw what I was doing. Like, she, if I survive this, she'll want to kill me, but then be so glad that I survived that she'll be fine. So, we did the, we finally made it to the group. And we were like, where are the pretty fish? The ocean was dark. The fish were like these little baby fish that were like, they weren't even cute, y'all. They were not colorful. Maybe they were like blue and yellow, actually. I'm lying. They were a little cute, but not that cute. Not cute enough for me to be risking my life the way I was. So we see the fish. They're not all that. We're a little disappointed. Then they're like, okay. So now at this point, me and my friend are both terrified. We're like calmer. And we make it back to the boat, and they're like, okay, hop back on, um, you know, get another drink, and, like, hang out. As, like, people, like, get a paddle boat and go to the boat. I think there were, like, two things you get to pick to do. I forgot what the other one was, but we decided, you know, we can stick together. If we can do two people, we're going to do the paddle boat. So we do that, and... <laughs> So there's like a place you're not like there's like a direction you're not supposed to go in like as you're on the boat and we're on this boat and we start going in the wrong direction and we both started panicking again because we were just like we this is the day this is the day the Lord has made for us to die it was so bad that we both were like we're going in the wrong direction let's just stop let's just take a break because the way this is working, okay, it was just so horrifying. I'm not going to lie, it might be a little bit more dramatic than it really was in terms of how, like, scary it was. I know for other people it wasn't that scary, but for us, this was, like, really bad. And I don't know if us both being scared made it worse, but so we were on this paddle boat on the wrong side, like, far from the boat, the main boat. On the side, we're, we're going towards where we're not supposed to go. They're like, don't go to the rocks. Don't go that way. We are floating away. We accidentally turned the boat and just started going that way. 
And we were just like, you know what? Let's just have one of us like paddle at a time instead of both of us trying to paddle. So um, Elizabeth, my, the friend I was on this boat with or the paddle boat with, she literally saved our lives. She starts paddling and then like I take my turn, I start paddling and we finally make it back to the boat. And then the trip, like the adventure ends with us like I think we got more drinks after that. I don't know. I think we ate. Then we went to like a private beach and then on the way back we got to see the dolphins. <sighs> the best part of the whole freaking thing because I literally was losing my whole entire mind. The whole time I was losing my mind. I was like, this is the most spring break thing I've ever done in my life. And I was like, I don't know if I'll ever do this again. But surprisingly, it was actually pretty fun. <laughs> and I was like, if I can do this, I can do anything. So after that, I would say is when I became a little bit more courageous. And like, I was willing to explore more things in the world after that. And I'm not going to lie. My friend was right. If she never made us do that, I don't know. I don't think I would be like open to like other things as I am nowadays. Oh, this is so cute. This reminds me of how I used to do my makeup back in the day. But yeah, so once I tapped in to my adventurous self, I've just been a lot braver and more open to things that like I never thought I would do, such as piercing my nose. You know what, Renee, shout out to you for being the reason that I'm an adventurous person. Because I would have never in my life. Um, I feel like I need to go a little darker with this contour, so I am still going to use espresso. I thought I could give her up, but I guess she is a gem, and I just did not value her the way I should have. We like, we like, we like, we like. Oh, this is a perfect nose contour color. Anyways, do you guys feel like you were always adventurous, or you had to grow into that, or you had to have friends that, like, brought that out of you because for me like I said even as a kid I was a very like safe by the book type of kid I was a rule follower just was like I'd rather be good and not be in trouble than um do something crazy and like be cool for like 10 minutes you know I just thought it was way cooler to follow the rules to be honest to me I don't know could be different but I don't know I was just so like I always thought people that were trying to break rules were always trying too hard which is so crazy but I'm also like that's so on brand for like me I was like I don't want to look like I'm trying too hard and I want to be cute so no and I just didn't care I cared about what people think like my family but I never cared about people at school what they thought I was like as long as I have a few friends which I always had like a couple friends and I had my like group I just didn't care about being in the popular crowd I was like why would I want to be cool for now and then like not be cool later like what's the use I literally oh, I used the wrong side of my beauty blender to put my powder on oh well I don't know I need to try out a new contour stick for sure I'm kind of over this one Okay, this is my bestie. This, the Sephora Micro Smooth. That's my girl, y'all. She, like, wow, just really pulls everything together. So cute, so pretty. Let's do blush. I forget. I love blush. I'm actually gonna do a MAC Raisin. This used to be my favorite blush. And I used to only use this blush, like, that wasn't it. There was another blush I used to use. I just recently started buying new blushes. I think I'm gonna highlight my face. I wasn't going to. Actually, I'm not going to because I'm just not going to. I don't want to. I just feel like it wouldn't be loyal to the look, that the inspiration, the original inspiration. Um, because I feel like the classic red lip, gold lip gold eye red lip combo it was a matter of face you know but i just feel like highlighted nose just goes really well with this look let's throw on let's do mascara that's what i need to do so tell me what you think about this mascara for real because 
She's not bad. She does a really great job. I love the brush. I just wish it was a thicker formula. But I also feel like a lot of mascaras nowadays are just thinner when you first start using them and then they thicken out. Oh, maybe they've always been like that. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Let's get some Vaseline. It's like the best. You know, it's like you can try everything in the world. But Vaseline should be loyal forever, you know? Forever and ever. Amen. So it's December. Oh my god, happy December! We made it to the 12th month. Of the year. Specifically 2020. God is good. God is really good. Because it's been crazy. So, um, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was talking about. That is really crazy. This happens to me a lot. It's so annoying. I don't want to use this glue. I'm okay, I don't have a choice. I do have to use this glue. I hope my battery doesn't die. Oh my god, you guys, I got a camera. I'm so happy. She's here and she's doing her thing. I love her so much. I should name my camera. I don't know what I'm going to name her though. I need to name her. I need to give her a really good name. Do you even think about names? Like, do you ever think like, what does your name mean when you meet someone? I do. But maybe because my name is like kind of unique. I don't know. Could be me. It's most likely me. But comment below if you think of anything. When you hear people's names and you're like, oh my god, what does that mean? Where is it from? I feel like sometimes I can do my lashes without tweezers and then sometimes I'm going to die without them. Oh my god, I did it! Yay! Uh, every time I'm surprised. The one good thing about not wearing nails that often anymore is like, I feel like my makeup application and like hair is just always different. It's just always a little bit better. Especially when I braid my hair. And I also like braid my brother's hair all the time. I have two brothers. But one of them, like his regular hairstyle is braids. I hate braiding with nails, long nails. Sorry, I cheated. I need the tweezers. I'm not a cheater, but I cheated right now. Okay, guys, we're almost done. Do you guys feel like when you start doing a look, like you haven't done a long time, you start doing it more often? I feel like that happens to me. I'm going to take a little bit of asking But yeah, I haven't done a red lip in like forever. All right, I'm going to touch up my lips because my camera died. And I like sprayed my face and... Um, did my lips already like off camera and I'm just do my liner again around everything lip lip line line my lips <laughs> oh my god that's so cute I like this but also I just want to say I like this lighting way better it's cute this is a cute little look definitely cute vibe um Wow, I actually really like this lip. I feel like, could I do it again? I don't know. It's just so intense. I'm a very like gloss or like matte lip, very nude, neutral, brown lip type of girl. So this is just, it's just a lot. But I like the makeup with it. Like I think having a matte face brings lips together nicely. Um... What do you guys think? Tell me what you think. Tell me what memories, if this bring, brings back any memories for you. For me, it brought back so many memories to like thinking about, oh my god, what? When I first started getting into makeup, I remember going on YouTube and being like, what am I going to try out today? Or like, I was so obsessed with like Kim Kardashian's makeup. Well, really everything. Like, I think she wore and like her hair and all the time. Everything, basically. But... Her makeup was like the one thing I was always like, how do I recreate that? Which I think for the time, like that was what it was. Like Kim K glam was like the main trend. And this kind of like the eyes, like really gave me that vibe. And not really the lips. The lips were more so like holiday season. What is the time, like the trend for the time? It was always red lips, so um, I feel like it though. It's really pretty. I'm not mad at it. It's a throwback for sure. 
to know what you guys think um but yeah thank you guys for hanging out with me if you guys enjoyed this fun get ready with me i hope you guys enjoy the story time don't forget to like this video make sure to comment and please don't forget to subscribe see you guys next time